right, you guys are probably wondering why I'm showing you a wireless router over there. The whole reason is uh, my network in the house here is all wired and it's a pretty large house so to set up a full network for computers downstairs in the living room as well as upstairs in the bedrooms and other places in the house I actually have to have a wired network so I have my regular router here you can see all the wires going out and what I'll do is I'll just switch over here and show you where the wires lead now it goes all the way up this is not very conducive or sensible if you will and I have to set up a wired bridge all the way up there you guys can see and that's where my bridge is so this is sort of uh, annoying after leave the wire work and all that and most people won't be doing this in their home so what I'm going to show you is a wireless bridge uh, that I think you guys will like from Buffalo uh, both the uh, the router and the bridge so let's go ahead and check that out. Alright so we have our Buffalo uh, Ethernet uh, router and our bridge and these are both um, high performance uh, devices so the the, gigabit, the router here is a dual band gigabit router so which means it can go up to speeds of 1750 so if you live in Kansas uh, this is great for you you can actually have two bandwidths 124 uh, 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz um, you can wirelessly it transmits at 900 megabits per second it's pretty ultra fast so let's go ahead and open this up see what we have in our packaging here from Buffalo something like this just need our trusty knife this up and here we have our gigabit router here you can see it's got five gigabit ports here at the back um, and also you've got a USB port here so you can connect a hard drive, you've got an eject button, just a router button, of course you've got an on and off switch and of course the power button. And you have your configuration passwords here you can set up. And it's an air station uh, router, um, pretty nice. We also have uh, installation CD, we do have the power plug, set that aside, some screws for mounting, stand. Ethernet cables. So that's that with uh, the wireless router. Set that aside. And here is our media bridge, which allows us to basically extend the range of our router instead of us doing that whole wire work we did, we showed you earlier in this video. And we'll show you how it works, show you the setup and all that fun stuff. So here, our bridge has. Uh, four gigabit ports, so it's connected wirelessly. Um, you can turn on the five gigahertz either on or off. It's got an on button, DC button. That's pretty much it. You've got your quick installation guide CD set up here, and of course, power cables and Ethernet cables, and that's pretty much it. So, what this will do is allow you to set up a nice wireless network in your house. By also, but also giving you an extender, sorry, it also gives you an extender that gives you a full range. Now, both devices actually look alike. You see, you almost can't tell the difference. Uh, in front says Buffalo. The difference is, of course, behind is, when you look at both of them, you can see you have, of course, five uh, ports here. One, of course, is your Ethernet coming in, and there are four out. You do have a USB, um, USB port here. You have the router button eject. And these are just four, as well as the power buttons at the bottom. And then, of course, you get your configuration card in one of them. So that's pretty much it. So we'll set it up. Here, your uh, bridge, as well as to your router. It's a very simple process, which we'll show you. But remember, these are actually uh, AO AOS's buttons for pairing. So you have one in each uh, device. And uh, you will actually use those buttons to actually pair your your router and your bridge together. And it's a very simple process, but we'll show you within the video as how that So we went ahead and we connected and we hooked up our wireless bridge. This is the N450. And of course, downstairs, uh, like we saw earlier, uh, we connected our router. But I wanted to show you the, the wireless bridge first. So it's connected here. Next to it is a little media server we have, which is connected to that. 
And um, on the back, we actually have three wires. So this is for the media bridge. This is a four computer up here. And this is for the Xbox. So we no longer have that long wiring we had connected here because we connected wirelessly. And to actually sync both the media bridge and the router, uh, it's a very simple process. You plug it on, and we've already synced it, but you can see these two flashing lights. You turn it on, you actually tap the AOS button here. So I'm just gonna zoom in there. So that's the AOS button. You hit the AOS button, it blinks here. Then you run downstairs, and we can actually do show you the process. So we did this from here, and then we ran down. And then we came down here to our router. Now this is the this is the N900 router, and you can see, of course, it has three lights. There are two up there on the uh, on the bridge, and we hit the AOS button here and synced it, and that was it. And uh, we had a connect. We have we had full connection. And the thing I like about it is just the ease of actually syncing both together. You can see I went from up to down. And you see, I don't have to deal with the long cables all around, um, you know, uh, the house and send it up that way. Plus, I am now getting full 50 megabits across the whole uh, home network. So basically, I have 50 megabits downstairs, upstairs, uh, on a computer hooked up upstairs, wirelessly around the house. With the laptop, I'm still getting 50 meg megabits. Now, the reason why I'm saying this and I'm showing you is just because of the ease. Yes, some will consider, okay, this is, again, this router and the bridge combined will cost you about 300. But I can tell you from use and um, over time that I've used it, it that I've enjoyed non-stop solid internet connection across the whole home because it actually um, basically connects a very secure bridge for you. And you can go through the settings and you can play around with those, which of course um, it's, it's quite easy to do, but um, it gives you a very secure solid network across your whole home, which does a very, very good job in giving you steady speeds, no drop-offs, secure wireless connection also, and that's a very good thing, you know. Um, I, what I had was I, I had very low wireless signal. My initial setup was the router was downstairs, then I had a wired bridge upstairs, which would mean that my internet, my wireless connectivity upstairs, if I went upstairs, uh, was much lower because I was trying to fetch wireless signal from the router down here. But now that we have the bridge, the whole house is completely wireless, plus the fact that uh, I also have a wired connection for, for whatever I need, and I'm still getting top speed there. So uh, if you guys have any questions about the, um, the um, uh, Buffalo um, N900 and the N450 uh, uh, router and wireless bridge, uh, let us know. I see, definitely recommend this. I've enjoyed it. If you're asking me for the best wireless router for the, for the year, um, I'll pretty much tell you that this is probably the best wireless router you can pick up this year uh, by far from Buffalo. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.